In this video we'll go ahead and talk about valence electrons and what they are. Valence electrons. And before we define this, uh, let's take out the periodic table and see um, how this relates to the periodic table. So the number on top uh, of each element as in this 3, 4, or 6, 7, these are, this is the atomic number of that element, right? And we know that atomic number is equal to the number of protons and the number of electrons if there's no charge. So protons equal electrons. And in, from the previous videos, we said that um, the structure of an atom, so let's pick an element first. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about fluorine. Fluorine. So fluorine has nine protons, right? The atomic number is nine. So the protons is also equal to nine. And if there's no charge, the electrons are also equal to nine. And we said the location or the structure of this may, will look something like this. So here's our uh, nucleus, right? So fluorine, this is a fluorine nucleus. And we have uh, electrons on the outside, and we have the protons and the neutrons inside. So let's draw in our protons. We have nine protons, and that's they're within the uh, nucleus. So plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Right. So these are the protons within the nucleus. So now let's talk about the electrons. Electrons are going to be on the shells or the outside of the nucleus. So here's our two, sh let me change the color to purple again. So here's our shell, like this. So on the first shell, which is this one right here, on this one, the maximum number of electrons that can be held by that shell is two. For every element, it's always going to be two. So let's write that down. First shell, maximum of two electrons. So we need to get nine. So we can only put up two uh, on the first one. So let's draw in those. So one electron and two electrons. Right? And we need, we still need to go seven more, right? Because we only filled in two of the nine. So seven more to go. So we draw another uh, shell like this and we're going to put seven on those. And now the r second rule is on the second shell maximum of eight electrons. So only the first one is different. It can only hold a maximum of two and second shell can hold a maximum of eight electrons and third is the same, right? Third is also eight, fourth also eight. So depending on that, everything else is eight except the first one. So let's put a number seven on the second one. So here's one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven on the outside and two uh, from the inside, that equals nine. So we have put in nine electrons. So now is a good time to define what a valence electron is. So let, let's go up here. So valence electrons is are the electrons, electrons on the outer most shell. So electrons on the outermost shell. So let's go down here. How many electrons are in the outermost shell? Well, this one is the outermost, right? All this right here is the outermost. So let's count electrons on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven electrons are on the outermost shell. So that number is equal to valence electrons. And remember, every atom wants to have eight valence electrons on their outermost shell to be stable. They're all trying to get be stable, but this one only has seven, so it needs one more to be stable. So let's write that down. Eight uh, valence electrons equals stable. And this is what they all want to do. So let's do another example. And this time, let's do um, calcium here. So let's uh, calculate the amount of the number of valence electrons calcium has. So calcium, the atomic number is 20. So let's go down here and write that down. So calcium has 20 uh, atomic number. So let me just write that atomic number. 
and we know the atomic number is equal to the number of protons so protons is equal to 20 and the electron is also 20 so let's uh, draw in our structure again so here's our nucleus right calcium is inside and we have uh, proton 20 protons inside so this time I won't uh, put put in plus signs I'll just write 20 here so 20 protons inside so now let's it's time to put in the electrons so the first one I said it can only hold up to two so we have 18 more to go so we're going to draw in another shell like this so we can put in a maximum of eight on this one so two four six eight and two from the inside right so t so far we have ten we need to add ten more so let's draw in another uh, shell so let's put in uh, eight on this one eight so totally we have eight on the outside eight on the second ring here so that's sixteen and then sixteen plus two is eighteen so we need two more so let's go we'll draw another and we're going to keep on doing that until we have uh, drawn in all our uh, drawn in all our electrons. So here's our two more. So now this has 20 electrons and 20 protons. So the definition of valence electron was the number of electrons on the outermost shell, and this in this case is going to be two. So calcium has two valence electrons. So this is how you calculate the valence electrons and let's go back to our periodic table up here. And you're probably thinking that okay we did fluorine and fluorine is up here so that's okay to do right. There's nine protons and nine electrons and the other one we did was calcium. Okay 20 is okay right. How the heck am I going to do something like this where there's 88 protons and 88 uh, electrons? How am I supposed to draw all of them? And there's a trick we need to remember uh, in solving all those huge problems or even the smaller ones and that is to number your groups from 1 to 8. But remember that groups are vertically, right? So I'm going to write that groups like this and periods are across. This is one thing that confuses me all the time. So let's write this down. Groups are vertically and periods are across. So let's number these one, two. Let me change the color. So this is one, this is two, and we're going to skip all these blue ones and go here three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So after we number those, and let's say fluorine, how many valence electrons does fluorine has? We're going to simply look at the uh, group it's in. So fluorine is in group number seven. So right away we know it has seven valence electrons, and this is what we had, right? So let's do the same thing with calcium. Calcium has two. So let's go up. Calcium is right here, and we we'll read the number, uh, the group number, and it's two. So we know it has two valence electrons. So our question is. How many does this one have? 88. Well, it's in the same group, so it's going to have two valence electrons. And remember that every every atom is trying to get eight uh, valence electrons in their outermost shell to be stable. So as you can see, this row right here already has eight. So we don't need to worry about these when it comes to losing or gaining electrons. Later on, we'll learn this topic of how gaining and uh, losing electrons works. But this one, um, these are already stable and these are called noble gases. And now, hopefully, you understand how valence electrons, how to calculate valence electrons works. And this is it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.